Hello there guys and welcome to your ninth Java Kui programming tutorial and in this tutorial I don't believe I mentioned before but we're gonna go ahead and talk about the J menu bar basically how you see a menu bar here in Eclipse we will try to do that anyways let's go ahead and not waste any time and let's go ahead and type our code the reason why I'm making you guys type this code again the J frame every video is because so you get used to it and you will automatically start doing it basically you memorize or not memorize but you'll be you'll be so good at it uh, because typing stuff over and over will help you remember how to do certain things but if you wish not to do that you can just copy and paste this if you saved it from the previous video and that's perfectly fine so anyways let's go ahead and type our code so type j frame frame new j frame to create our new frame go ahead and type frame and I'm gonna set the title to YouTube or tutorial mine sorry tutorial 9 and then I'm gonna go ahead and set the location relative and no to nothing just like we've done our previous tutorial and then go ahead and frame and set the size here we're going to set the size 200 by 200 and uh, frame and set the default close operation to J frame and exit and close alright so next let's go ahead and create our panel and I'm going to call it panel like always and a new J panel alright so now what we want to do is go ahead and create a J menu bar and I'm gonna call my menu bar set that equal to a new J menu bar All right. next type frame dot set J menu bar and to a menu bar here we go so we set our J menu bar to the menu bar we declared up here. Next, let's go ahead and type J. We want to declare a J menu. And I'm going to call this file and set that equal to a new J menu and name it file. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and type menu bar that we declared up here and. Let's go add our menu to that uh, file. Okay, next, let's go ahead and type frame that get content pane, and let's add our panel to the frame. And finally, let's go ahead and set it visible and see what we created. All right. So let's go ahead and build this and if we build this and it works perfectly we should be able to just see a menu bar just like this but with only one menu the file menu let's go ahead and build it so there you go you see our title here the size we set and our menu bar and the menu if you click on it you won't see any listings or items uh, that will be our next tutorial to add items and more menus here so stick around for that anyways so let's go ahead of our code this is just like our previous code we declare the frame set the title set the relative and all basically it's showing the middle we set the size to 200 200 pixels 200 by 200 and we set the default close operation basically when the user clicks on the x so we can close the program we declared our panel down here a new panel we created a new panel we created a new menu bar and the frame we set the menu bar so we can see the menu bar here basically all this does is put the menu bar on top and make sure it's there then we created a menu item and we set that to file so we set this label to be file and then we added our menu to the menu bar so we can so we can see it once we built our program then we finally down here added the panel to our frame and we set it visible and our result was let me run this one more time right here next we'll add items to this and after that we put uh, uh, functionality to, to those items so we can so they can do certain things once the user clicks them 
so anyways that was our ninth java C, uh, java GUI tutorial program tutorial i don't know why i keep saying c plus plus but anyways i hope you liked it please guys don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos thank you for watching this one thank you guys